Hey guys, it's Chris with One Water Yacht Group. Today we are talking about Seakeeper gyroscopic stabilizers. Now, this big white box that I'm sitting on here in the engine room is a Seakeeper gyroscopic stabilizer. And the physics of gyroscopic stabilization are pretty complex. But the implementation of those physics and how they work is actually pretty straightforward. So here's how a gyroscopic stabilizer works. Number one we spin up a very heavy frisbee-shaped disc inside of this box. And we spin that disc up to about 10,000 rotations per minute. And when you start your boat, it often takes 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of your gyro, to get that disc spinning to the full 10,000 RPM speed. Now, once the disc is spinning, we can either engage the gyro or disengage the gyro. The disc stays spinning at all times regardless. And when we engage the gyro, all we are doing is we are allowing this gyroscope to freely move forward and aft as the boat rolls side to side. So a lot of people, myself included, assume that well, if we're using a gyroscope to counteract the motion, the side to side motion of a boat, we are going the opposite way. So if the boat's going this way, we're moving our gyroscope that way. It doesn't work that way. And we don't actually move the gyroscope at all. The gyroscope moves itself. So when the boat goes that way, the gyroscope freely moves forward because that gyroscopic precession has a perpendicular torque effect, not to get too detailed, that counterbalances the motion this way. And when the boat moves this way, the gyroscope freely on its own wrote slide, swivels back towards the stern of the boat. So the gyroscope moves on its own perpendicular to the motion it's counteracting. Now, the physics are complicated, but the implementation is pretty straightforward. We spin a gyroscope, 10,000 RPM, we either lock it in place so it's not engaged, so it cannot move back and forth, or by engaging the system, we allow the gyroscope to freely move back and forth. And that free movement back and forth, the ability of the gyroscope to move on its own, naturally, according to the laws of physics, very, very dramatically counteracts that side-to-side -side motion of the boat. So, the physics are complicated. The implementation is straightforward. A large spinning disc, 10,000 rotations per minute. If we want to counteract rotation, we allow it freedom to swivel back and forth in response to the side to side motion of our boat. And it works incredibly well. 